Hey gamers, welcome back to another episode of Seaside Survival. Today, we're going to the lakeside. The meadow on the eastern, or the inland side of the mountain range, has been long neglected. I've been thinking of some sort of vision for this meadow, and nothing seemed quite right until now. I've got a plan that will add a nice scenic touch to the lake in our meadow. We've got a lot of terraforming to do today, so let's just jump right in, okay? All right, so here's the bird's eye view of the meadow area and the lake that we're going to work on. I haven't done much with this side of the meadow, aside from planting a few trees, and I'm not sure that the mangrove trees are working here. What we wanna do is set a vibe for this area, particularly something that looks cool from the sky but will also create a, a great impression if we're coming out of the mountain pass on foot. First things first though, let's take out some of these trees and clear the area. After a lot of tree chopping, sometimes you just need to get the job done a little bit quicker, alright? Now the next step is to form the land around the lake, so I'll need a lot of grass and stone. Hey cow! I'll lay out a basic form with some dirt so we can shape the land around it. Here we go, the land is starting to take shape. I wanted to extend the land above the lake to give a bit more room when traveling by foot. This allows me to create a cliff overlooking the lake. A couple waterfalls here will add some movement and drama to the landscape, which I think will be pretty cool. I'll just take care of these guys real quick. Mm-hmm. Let's fly around a little bit to see how we're looking. It's pretty good. It's a good start. I'll take a step back here and see how I'm doing. And it looks like it's coming together. Awesome. Yeah, as soon as I finish the face of the cliff, I'll have to mob proof the area, specifically inside the cliff. It's a bit dangerous. Check this out though. There's so much more room up here now. Gotta sleep. It's the next day in real life here, folks, and I've made some changes to the cliff face. As you can see, right over here. This is the template that I'll copy for the rest of the cliff's edge. I'm using stone, andesite, and cobble to create some variation and give the cliff an aged look. Hi, uh, horse. Why is it every time I record a cinematic clip, there's some animal in my face? I do love it though. You can hang out here all you want, horsey. Tell your friends.
Okay, gamers, now that we have the cliff done, it's time to work a bit on the lake below it. And we'll add a brand new lake, too. This will sit just near the edge of the cliff. Right about here. The upper lake will flow into the lower lake through a waterfall, right here. Now the upper lake will have a river rushing down from the mountain right around this area. So I'll start placing the water for the upper lake here. Then I'll remove the grass so the lake fills in. Oh, sorry, you're gonna miss the grass? Well, this is terribly awkward. Um, yeah, good idea, we'll relocate you, perfect. All right, I've got the basic shape of the lake all ready and we'll flood this one block deep area first. Once it's all water source blocks, I'll remove the dirt and grass from underneath it so that the lake will go deeper. Water physics are a bit odd. This is coming together. I'm happy with the direction we're moving and it's an improvement to the area already. And now I'll finish filling in the upper lake and the waterfall, which will be the source for all this water. And here is where the river will start. This is what will feed into the upper and lower lakes. First, we gotta clear this tree here behind me and the land where the river will flow. I always find making natural looking waterfalls to be a bit tough. I want it to be wild and flowing, but if we don't set up some boundaries, the water goes everywhere and it's a pain to control. Here we go. This should be good enough. And the water will flow into the lake as planned. Let's give it a try. Here we go, moment of truth. I'll just place a double water source here and we'll keep placing water like so until, sorry guys, it's really dark in here, sheesh. Hey, it looks like water is successfully flowing down the waterfall. Oh yeah, this is working like I wanted it to. Perfect. I mean, there's a couple of areas like here that I'll need to adjust, but for the most part, this is good. Now, of course, we need to take a look from the sky. What do we think? And now to deepen the upper lake and take care of a couple little things in the area. Okay, I made the lake deeper. Now it's starting to look like something that could have been naturally generated. Oh, forgot that dirt. And this dirt. I'll fix up the bottom of the waterfall. And now the basic layout of the area is done. And all that's left are a few small details. We want to bring a little bit of life to the area too. So we'll be... Wow. Ow. Ow. Ahem, as I was saying, uh, I want to bring a bit of life to the area, so let's add some human elements. We'll make a bridge, a small farm, a little cabin, and some paths. Okay, we'll put a simple bridge over this part of the lake and expand the paths around it. See? A simple bridge and paths. Just widen up some of these pathways and uh, good to go. Now to the southeast of the lake, I'm gonna build a cabin. Maybe I'll get a villager over here at some point. 
I'd like to build up more houses in the meadow and eventually create our own village. But I'm not ready to be fooling around with villagers today. I'll be using mostly dark oak and stone bricks as a base palette of this design with some spruce embellishments. Now this cabin design is by a YouTuber named Mythical Sausage. I'll link their video in the description below. It's a small 8x8 design, but I'll be adding some elements outside of the box. The structure itself is Sausage's design, but I'm going to be making some adjustments to make it into our own place. Now I like to envision a purpose for the stuff that we build. You know, you kind of add some lore to this Let's Play series. I like to think someone lives a simple life here. Fishing in the lake, crafting stuff, living off the land. So I'm designing the cabin for that exact kind of lifestyle. Oh yes. Yeah, I forgot my scaffolding, so I just made this stone staircase. Ugh. Okay, now for the roof. Now I want to make a fireplace with a chimney that puffs out smoke, so I'll need a couple campfires. Oh, look at those flying skills, yeah baby. So I'm just popping back over to the Terra Dome for a moment to grab some campfires. I'll take three, and then up and away. And there we are. I did the old hide the campfires behind the trapdoors trick. Okay, so now we have the basic structure done, and we'll add some detail to the exterior of the cabin. I'll use some spruce trap doors here, as that will look good with the dark oak we're using on the rest of the build. Now, why do I keep falling in lakes today? I keep falling in lakes. Well, let's add a floor, shall we? It is a nice cabin after all. No dirt floors here. I'm placing a few chests and barrels in the rafters. You never know when you'll need some extra space. I've placed furnaces where the chimney is, and now I just need to hang... Aha! There it is. That's the painting I was looking for. You'll notice the composters with leaves. That makes for a decent looking potted plant. I think it's time we finally added doors to the house too. I'm sticking with dark oak to keep on with the theme. It's really coming together. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Nothing bad happened. It's just uh, it was just a slight miscalculation on the uh, on the landing. Nothing to see here, folks. Aha! Isn't it nice? I think it's coming along perfectly. I have the exterior and the interior done, so now all that's left is creating a nice area around the cabin and cleaning up the workspace. I hid a spore blossom in the roof of the cabin so we get that cool green particle effect around the area. Very cool. What's landscape? Now I'm adding some rail to the hay bales to make it look a bit like a tie down. 
Well, those aren't going anywhere. As I'm adding a bit of gravel, you can see the small farm and beehive that I've placed nearby. The gravel gives the road a bit more of a textured and weathered look without needing to change the whole design of our path. And now I'll just extend the gravel path out to the back deck a little bit. And I think that'll be good. Okay, now we'll wrap the gravel path with a bit more grass. And I think that that is good. Hi bees. Very cool. I think that adds a lot of character and life to the area around our build. Well, hello gamers. Now isn't that something? Man, looking back at the footage of the meadow before we started, we did a lot this episode. We terraformed the meadow, built cliffs, constructed a lake and three waterfalls, a bridge, and then we built an entire cabin. I did a bit more off camera, so as we wrap up this episode, let's go on a little tour of the new meadow. As always, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like if you feel so inclined. And don't forget to subscribe because next time we'll do something a little different. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.